Podling's Law, presented by Team Oil and Gas, consisting of Daphne Brune, Christina Shanks, and Robert Payet. Harold Hotling was a mathematical statistician and an influential economic theorist. He was associate professor of mathematics at Stanford University from 1927 until 1931, a member of the faculty of Columbia University from 1931 until 1946, and a professor of mathematical statistics at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill from 1946 until his death. A street in Chapel Hill bears his name. In 1972, he received the North Carolina Award for Contributions to Science. Hotling's Law Hotling's Law is an observation in economics that in many markets it is rational for producers to make their products as similar as possible. This is also referred to as the principle of minimum differentiation as well as Hotling's linear city model. The observation was made by Harold Hotling in the article Stability and Competition in Economic Journal in 1929. At the time Hotling introduced his model, the prevailing economic thought was that duopoly was fragile because a small price cut by one firm would capture the entire market. However, this thought was inconsistent with reality according to Hotling because some buy from one seller, some from another, in spite of moderate differences of price. Hotling's Law explains why retailers and restaurants so often locate near one another. The classic example is ice cream vendors locating near one another on a beach. The opposing phenomenon is product differentiation, which is usually considered to be a business advantage if executed properly. A common critique of Hotling's model is that it omits strategic pricing, which pushes firms apart. A 1979 Econometrica paper on Hotling's stability and competition argues that while the price competition in Hotling's paper correctly addressed the Bertrand paradox explaining how firms can compete in prices and still make positive profits, Hotling made an error in reasoning in the second part of the paper where he attempts to idonagize the locations of the firms in his model and establishes his quote law. The abstract reads, the purpose of this note is to show that the so-called principle of minimum differentiation as based on Hotling's 1929 paper Stability and Competition is invalid. <clears throat> Further, the two firms choose to locate at the midpoint of the line. A firm that un unilaterally moves away from the midpoint loses market share and profit. Another critique of Hotling's law is that Hotling modeled the way in which firms share the market. He used a simple model in which consumers are evenly dispersed along a line and buy from the nearest firm. The two firms choose to locate at the midpoint of the line. However, when a third firm is added to the model, there is no equilibrium. If there, if there are three firms clustered at the midpoint, the firm in the middle has an incentive to move to the outside. An economic example. Hotling modeled the way in which firms share the market. He used a simple model illustrating consumers buying from the nearest firm. Suppose that there are two competing shops located along the length of a street running north and south. Customers are, jet are spread equally along the street. Each shop owner wants to locate his shop such that he maximizes his own market share by drawing the largest number of customers. Two firms choose to locate at the midpoint of the line. In this example, the shop itself is the product considered and both products are equal in quality and price. There is no difference in product, product to the customers. Therefore, considering the prices are exactly the same, each customer will always choose the nearest shop because there is no difference in product. A firm that unilaterally moves away from the midpoint loses market share and profit. I, an IT example of minimal differentiation. A good example of Hotling's law phenomena exists in the vast iPhone ma app marketplace. The app Angry Birds is one of the top applications in the app marketplace. After it has established great success, we witnessed more applications using the same naming convention as the forerunner Angry Birds. Not only is similar in naming convention, but most of these apps, like Angry Birds, uses the same concept as Angry Birds. 
The only distinct difference is that the user must use pigs instead of birds to receive points. Opposites do attract. While the principle of minimum differentiation appears to reject product differentiation, businesses do both simultaneously. JetBlue, the low-cost airline, markets itself as a revolutionary type of airline. Cheaper, cheaper airfare, nicer planes, better locations. As JetBlue tries to differentiate its, its product from its competitors, it also adopts similar flight schedules and similar service. According to Baum and Haberman, hoteliers locate new, new hotels sufficiently close to established hotels that are similar on one product dimension, price, to benefit from agglomeration economies, but different on another product dimension, size, to avoid localized competition and create complementary differences. The law explains why, why retailers, department stores, news agents, and restaurants tend to cluster together. Finally, despite some shortcomings of the original model, Hotlink's key insights endure. First, businesses tend to locate near rivals, despite price pressure, pressures. Second, because of firm and product differentiation, price changes do not ne necessarily cause a dramatic movement of consumers from one firm to another. This is Team Oil and Gas's first page of our bibliography. This is Team ONG Bibliography Continued.